move to Yellowknife, you may want to get yourself a pet. So, to do that, you'll come here to the NWT SPCA. They have a lot of dogs back here. the cam lake area but it looks a lot different now this is the grace lake development it's relatively new the fanciest houses in town we come here to dream about real estate <laughs> side of grace lake is even more newly developed there are more homes being built right now than there are finished homes so far I think I can see at least half a dozen, maybe more like eight or t eight to ten homes that are being built, and only about two of them that are finished so far. Because we're in the Canadian Shield, pretty much all construction has to go through this kind of rock. So this looks like all of the leftover rock that's been blasted through to build these big new homes. That's why real estate costs a lot up here. So those are the houses that we just showed you guys close up. You can't see it, but right in the middle of there is Grace Lake which in the winter time, you can go dog sledding on, which is really super fun. You may have noticed that all of these are like trailers, as we would say down south. Um, but modular homes are really the norm up here in Yellowknife because it's so expensive to blast through the rock. So you can see some of them get pretty fancy, actually. This is an educated guess, but I'm pretty sure the average home price in this area would be somewhere in the 400,000s. It's like very affordable for Yellowknife standards and for Yellowknife wages, but by no means cheap. This is a Cole St. Joseph school, one of the three schools in YCS, Yellowknife Catholic Schools. And this is a dual track French immersion and English school. This is the Range Lake neighborhood. It's, I think, def definitely one of the biggest neighborhoods in town. Lots and lots of different price ranges in this area. Huge variety. The home of Yellowknife's one and only COVID-19 outbreak. Luckily, no one was hospitalized and everyone recovered. Which brings us to Northlands. An affordable option if you want to get into the real estate game. Again, you see a lot of modular homes. Elementary school in progress coming at you in about three years, I think. Right now, all of the kids at Sissons are at William Mack, so school is very crowded, lots of learning. This is the Con Mine area, another place. That's yeah, kick much about apartments in this video but in the skyline there you see lots of different options including Fraser Tower over there 
Then this is Rat Lake, which in the winter is this like hub of fun and skidooing. Uh, the community has a series of skating trails and a big pond, which is cleared, which is super fun for lots of uh, pond hockey. And then over there, you've got Tin Can Hill, which takes you all the way out to Great Slave Lake and is also an off-leash dog park. So lots and lots of stuff to explore in this area out near the old con mine site. By far the best part of Frame Lake is the Frame Lake Trail, which takes you from downtown all the way to sort of the new area and then whips you around over to the legislature. In the winter, this is a super popular place to cross country ski and skidoo. Back there, you have the Prince of Wales Heritage Center. Niven Lake is one of the best spots to, to go bird watching and go for a little walk around the town. I am embarrassed to say that we didn't go here until like 10 months into our time living in Yellowknife, um, but I'm so happy to have this place to go walk now. And we're finally in Old Town, where Yellowknife really truly began. Um, this is the coolest part of town in my opinion. Uh, Old Town definitely has a vibe. The water levels of Great Slave Lake are insanely high right now, so it's hard to get a good shot. But I would be remiss to not mention one of Yellowknife's most iconic communities, which is the houseboaters. We'll get you guys better shots of this when we get on the lake with our canoe. But these folks live out on the water all year long. I think there's about 40 of them in the Yellowknife Bay area. <laughs> 